Hey everybody, what's going on today? My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to be learning how to apply graphic styles. And a graphic style is a collection of attributes that can be applied to a layer or its sublayer or an entire group. So you put these basically on, they're pretty much like presets and you apply them to a layer and it applies the different styles to your um, layer. So th the first thing we need to do is open the graphic styles panel. And that is over here on the right, we've got the graphic styles, which is this box with another small like diamond box panel. Or you can go into window and just click on graphic styles. And there you go. Now these are kind of like filters almost in Photoshop, if you're familiar with those, then you should uh, catch on to these pretty quickly. So I've got a background here, and I've got this black um, monster looking dude, and then I've got his two eyeballs, and those are the different paths that I have actually in this. And let's uh, apply a graphic style to him. So let's apply a graphic style to this black section here. And what you're going to do is go down to this library icon. And these are the different libraries here that you can use that are shipped with Illustrator. And I'm going to go to something like Artistic Effects. And if I click on one of these, if I right click on it, I can see how the Artistic Effect would work on the actual object. Make sure you have it selected so that you can actually see the preview. So this preview is like a charred paper look, and now he looks like a charred paper kind of dude. Here's like a stained glass kind of look, and as you can see, these kind of remind you of some Photoshop filters that you, if you messed around with them like that. Well, that one's kind of crazy looking. And then you can keep on going. You've got textures, so maybe you want him to be made out of all bricks. There you go. And then we've got these little style patterns, which are really cool, actually. And they give you these cool looking styles that somebody created. So there you go. Um, you can do the same thing with the uh, with the eyes going on here. So maybe I wanted to add this one or this one. So we've got our different textures or different styles down here. And then we've got our main graphic styles panel here. And every time you click on one, it'll come up here into the graphic styles panel and you can click on either one of these to apply that new graphic. So I added those in, and then they match perfectly with it. And as you can see, the patterns they match perfectly if you have them perfect if you have the object perfectly aligned. Now, if you have just like one picture and it's just like a photo. It might some of the a lot of the graphic styles aren't gonna really work on it. So, for example, I'll show you what I mean. I'm just gonna open this photo and let's go ahead and ap apply some graphic styles to it. Let's go to Artistic Effects. If I click on it, you can see that this this isn't really applying the scribble effect to it. It's not really working the way I want. So, what you're gonna apply these to are. Um, you're going to apply these to certain images, and that way, well, what I meant was actually is that certain effects will only apply to certain images. You can't use, you're not going to be able to use everything on um, one image, but pretty much all the artistic effects actually work on vectors, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. So if I went into something like these patterns that I had here before, and if I try to add the pattern, it's not it's not going to work. It's not going to actually add the pattern to it. It's um, All we've got is the one layer with the image here. And even when I select that that way, it still does not work. So just, that just giving you a heads up there. Not all of the styles work on all of the pictures all the different kinds of images that you've got going on there. So that's all I wanted to show you about this. Thanks a lot for watching and learning about graphic styles. Um, hopefully you guys can use it in your next project or whatever else you're doing, working on. 
So thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and give the video a thumbs up if you uh, learned something. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.